Okay, now we can rewrite the, the purchasing power part in, in the hypothesis of one tradable good in this way. Suppose we consider the uh, exchange rate between euro and dollar. The purchasing power parity or the law of one price can be written as P in dollar must be equal to P in euro times the exchange rate. This equation can be also written in the following way. The price in dollar must be over the price in euro times the exchange rate must be equal to 1. This is the so-called, in some sense, real exchange rate. Actually, the real exchange rate uh, doesn't consider just the price of one credible good but an index of current of price of the same uh, basket. Now, suppose that ex the exchange rate rise by a percentage of 10%. In this case, if we if the law of one price holds, also the price in dollar must be raised by the same amount of ten percent. But this is not uh, necessary true because we can have also that the level of increase in the price in dollar, USA dollars, price of a different percentage, for instance, 8%. The level of uh, of rising in this way in this case of price in dollar following a rise in exchange rate is called level of true pass and now we can solve an exercise consider the exercise number 10 page 188 chapter 7 of the book X Terra export and pass through. Assume that the export price of Nissan X Terra from Osaka, Japan is yen 3 million and to uh, 25,000. So the, the price is yen 3 million. Price is expressed in yen. So we can write price in yen equal to yen. Okay, we need another zero. So the exchange rate is yen 115.2 per dollar. So the exchange rate ST is equal to yen. 150.20 for each dollar. Now, the forecast rate of inflation in the United States is 2.2%. So, pi in US is equal to 2.2%. We can write as 0 0.022. Inflation rate is 0% per year in Japan, so we have inflation rate in Japan in yen equal to 0% equal to 0. Now we can try to solve question A. What is the export price of Xterra 
at the beginning of the year expressed in USA dollars? So this is our first question. In order to compute this price, we have to follow to co compute the price the price in yen, three million. over the exchange rate because we need the uh, exchange rate expressed as dollar per yen so over yen 115.2 for each dollar and we get 28,211 Point eighty one USA dollars. So this is the price expressed in USA dollars at the beginning of the year. Question B Assuming purchasing power parity holds, what should the exchange rate be at the end of the year? So what we have to compute? We have to apply the purchasing power parity in percentage change version. So we have ST plus 1 minus ST over ST must be equal to the inflation rate in Japan minus the inflation rate in USA over 1 plus the inflation rate in USA is equal the inflation rate in Japan is zero minus the inflation rate in USA is 0 0.022 over 1 plus the inflation rate in USA which is 0 0.022 so we can write again the equation as st plus 1 minus st or st equal to minus 0 0.022 over 1.022 now in this case what we, we have to do we can split this fraction as usual, as usual so we have st plus 1 over st minus 1 equal to minus 0 0.22 over 1 plus 0 0.22 we can compute this ratio so this is not correct because it's 0 0.022 and 0 0.022 we have the same here so this ratio this ratio is equal to 0 minus 0 point zero two one five so we have st plus one our st equal to we can we can take this one and, and put it to the other side so we have one minus zero point zero two one five which is equal to zero point nine seven eight five and the final exchange rate is equal to zero point nine seven eight five times st and st is the old exchange rate so this is equal to zero point nine seven eight five times the old exchange rate which was yen 115.2 for each dollar so this is equal to new exchange rate consistent with the uh, inflation rate is yen 112.2 point comma or point is the same 72 for each dollar so this is the exchange rate 
consistent with the uh, inflation rate. Now we have question C. Assuming 100% pass through of exchange rate change, what should be the dollar price of an X Terra at the end of the year? In this case, we have to compute the old price in yen, which was yen, 3 million, over the exchange rate, the new exchange rate consistent with the inflation rate, which is yen, 100, 12.62 for each dollar and we get the price in USA dollars which is 28.32.47 dollars now we have to solve the last question which is question D assuming 75 Five percent pass through. What should be the price of an X Terra at the end of the year? So in this case, we assume a seventy-five percent of pass through. We delay the breadboard. We can delay it, and we can solve. We can solve. What does it mean? We have in order to answer question D. Our final price. We call X minus the old price in US dollars over the old price in US dollars, so this price in dollars over the change in in the exchange rate. The change in exchange rate is equal to 0 0.022. This ratio must be equal to 0 0.75, which means 75%. If we solve this equation, in which way we can solve? We can isolate at x minus 28, 20, 2, 1, 1. 0.81 over the same 28 to 111.81 times 1.0.022 equal to 0 0.75. We can solve this equation. This means that x minus 1. 28 to 211.81 must be equal to 0 0.75 times 0 0.022 times 28 11.81 by multiplying both the number by this quantity and then we can get from this equation x equal to 28677.3 dollars so this is the final price if the level of true pass is equal to 75 percent